Hi, I hope you're well and I really hope you've had a good week and you've been looking after yourself. This week's vlog is all about different things and making changes. So find out where we stay and find out what we have got for the boat which we are putting in to change the way we do things. And finally, what new and exciting things can Zeph and I find in the middle of a city? So this is named after the lapwing, but I have seen the swallows enjoying in this pub. These long-term moorings are in a fantastic spot, literally in the city centre, just outside the city centre. There's 60 moorings available, but there are no vacancies, and you can see why. But here on the right hand side are the visitor moorings and there is space here and you can stay for a couple of days, all the facilities are here, but we're not stopping in this part, we are going to stay somewhere different. So you can see we're coming into Lincoln, um, the building ahead is the university I think, Lincoln University. This is now Brayford Pools, it's a really pretty area, it's slap bang in the middle of Lincoln City and there is a marina which you'll see on the right hand side and we are going to moor up in the marina for a few days. And already I love this place. You can see the cathedral in the distance. All right, there's a car park in the way, but that doesn't matter. And I'm really excited to explore. 
but before I could go and explore, I had a delivery that I was waiting for. And this is something I've been wanting to get for the boat for a long, long time. It's not pay promotion, this is purely out of my own money, but I have managed to source HVO, and I'll talk a bit about that in a second, but I want to say a big thank you to Dave Jesse on Twitter, who pointed me to how I was going to get hold of some, because you can't get it in marinas and you cannot get it on the fuel boats yet. Oh, look, you free pouring spout. They're giving you free pouring spouts. This is a big day for me today. Oh, poor Zef Zef. She's going to find out very soon that it's not dog biscuits. What it is, is hydro-treated vegetable oil. I have bought six 20-litre boxes of it as a more renewable and sustainable way to run the boat. However, because marinas and fuel boats are not yet selling it, it's had to be delivered to me and it's covered in plastic. So there is a downfall. But uh, let's give it a try. You've got to start somewhere, haven't you? So this is my attempt at trying it all out. Okay, you hold me. It's going to pull me away. We've got my fuel box. Improve your local public air quality by reducing nitrogen levels up to 30%. Lowest emissions fuel on the market, generating up to 90% less greenhouse gases. Um, particulate matters are lower by up to 86%. So I've got the fuel from a company called New Era Fuels. They will deal directly with individual boaters. A lot of fuel companies won't do that, but they are really keen to work with marinas and fuel boats as well. Um, each box of 20 litres cost £33.99, plus I paid £42 delivery charge. If I'd have bought 12 boxes, I would not have had to pay for the delivery, but I just didn't want to store or carry that amount of um, fuel on the boat. So with VAT, in total I paid £264.54. Without the VAT, it's £203.94. It's more expensive, but like I said earlier, you've got to start somewhere and hopefully the price will come down. So all empty boxes recycled and a whole tank full of hydro treated vegetable oil plus a little bit of diesel that we had already in it. Uh, Zephyr has refueled as well and now we're ready to explore. Thank you. A must-see when you come to Lincoln is the cathedral. From 1311 to 1548, it was actually the tallest building in the world until a spire collapsed as a result of a hurricane in 1548. This is the park. So this is four acres of parkland that 
is looked after by volunteers in the community. Since the 16th century, Licorice Park has been a really important part of the community in the form of agricultural land. It's called Licorice Park because at one time licorice grew here, but now it's a place for the community to go to, to unwind, pick herbs and just sit and relax in the middle of the city. So I'm going to sit here on this bench which is partially made of tyres and I'm going to enjoy the plants having a nice drink then I'm going to go back and have a nice drink and Zephyr's going to have a dentist stick. It's a bird feeder. Look at that. Do As well as Licorice Park in Lincoln, there is also South Common, which again just has oodles of wildlife. What on earth? Oh my goodness. You're filthy. So I am gonna turn on the engine for the first time since we put HBO in it. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's quieter. That was definitely 100% quieter than when we normally switch the engine on. Right, the plan now is just to find somewhere lovely and quiet to moor. Brilliant name for a boat. Right, wait till you see this. This sight takes my breath away. Here we go. This is High Bridge and it's the oldest bridge in the UK which still has buildings on it. It dates back from 1160s and it's had shops above it since the 1550s. Incredible. Then from the very old to the brand spanking new, this sculpture by Stephen Broadbent is called Empowerment. It arrived here in 2002 and it is the highest sculpture in Lincoln. It's gorgeous.
just deciding who's going to operate the lock and who's going to drive it's Amber, so one of us will have to do it. At this point, I thought not only am I operating a lock, I'm also operating a lift service. So this is duckweed and an invasive plant called azolla and apparently Canal River Trust have released tiny weevils into the water that eat the azolla but they don't eat the duckweed in order to get rid of it. I think this is the perfect place to stop. A change awaits you very soon, young swallow. Now you just sit and preen and prune, young swallow. But as the leaves give up their green for gold, your purple cloak of feathers will unfold. And up with spiralling streamers you will fly towards a sultry and Saharan sky to decorate and dazzle desert scapes. But I will wait, O oh, swallow, I will wait, through lethal frozen earth and towpath mud, until the waking up of branches bud, for the streaming of your sails to follow. So for now, just preen and prune, young swallow. <laughs> 